We are at Think Long Island first and we are looking at our window display with a train set up by John Spies from Oyster Bay Railroad Museum. John, could you tell us something about this train? Yes, I can, Ava. I appreciate the uh, opportunity to meet with you and to explain a little bit about the layout. And that's what it is. Uh, any type of a model uh, train set is normally called a layout. And this would be a layout, a simple oval that uh, most people would start their career or their hobby with model railroading. And from there, they could expand it, they could add switches, they could add more trains, they could add buildings, they could do a lot of things. And what it becomes, it becomes their own empire. And uh, you don't have to be a rail, railroad baron with a lot of money to do it. This is an O-gauge layout, meaning that it has the three rails, which is a typical Y&L layout, but there is other gauges also which hobbyists use. The smallest being N, letter N is in November, HO, which is half of the O, uh, you also have G gauge, which is much bigger. Those are the most common uh, types of uh, layout gauges that are used in the United States. And the variety of equipment is, is endless. This is a diesel engine that's pulling uh, this, this freight train, but you can also get steam engines and electric engines, passenger cars, freight cars, uh, myriad and myriad amount of stuff that's out there today. Uh, a lot of it is electronically controlled also. Electronics has entered into the railroad, model railroad uh, realm. And uh, remote control and all sorts of other devices allow you to operate it much more uh, like a real railroad rather than just using a transformer. Okay, yeah, this sounds great. Does this train make uh, whistle sounds? Yes, it does. Uh, can we have it? <laughs> sure. I'll just wait till it comes around the curve. The old, this is a typical diesel horn sound. If you live near a railroad uh, crossing or any place that uh, a train would require to be signaling, that's the signal you would hear uh, for the warning that a train is coming. Again, it's Uh, the engineer is required to sound that uh, warning prior to getting to the crossing so that anybody who's at that crossing realizes get out of the way yeah. don't cross the tracks yeah okay great john thank you so much you're welcome and uh, come down to the oyster bay railroad museum this weekend we're having our holiday express event that's saturday and sunday december 11th and 12th from noon to 4 p.m it's a lot of fun we have carriage rides we have cider for the kids Cake, uh, cookies, candy canes. We're going to have the, uh, a book signing by Heather Worthington, who wrote a book about the Long Island Railroad. It's Miles and Smiles, the story of Roxy, the Long Island Railroad dog. She'll be there on Saturday. And I best, uh, I think I heard that Santa is going to try to make it on Sunday. Ah, that's great. Is the Santa coming by train? Uh, not sure yet. I, know, I think the sled's still working, so I think he's okay. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much, John. You're welcome.